Submarines U.S. members of Congress and industry builders are all accelerating a revved up effort to add more attack submarines in coming years, to help offset an anticipated deficit expected to emerge as more Los Angeles class submarines are retired from service. Previous publications of the Navy's 30 year shipbuilding plan have indicated a substantial drop off in coming years as legacy submarines retire, so there has been an intense Navy and congressional effort to uptick Virginia class submarine production and strive toward building two or even three per year in many instances. Clearly, a big part of the impetus here is to close a submarine gap with China. A publication called usjapekennedy.org cites China's submarine fleet at 79, compared to a US fleet of 68. Without a substantial acceleration of US attack submarines in coming years, the number of US Navy attack submarines may lower into the low 50s. These are the likely reasons why Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Michael Gilday's Navigation Plan 2022 cites an attack submarine capacity goal at 66. This many attack submarines, when supplemented by 12 Columbia-class, nuclear-armed ballistic missile submarines, would bring the Navy's entire fleet up to 78 submarines, roughly comparable to China in terms of size. The Navy plan calls for 66 nuclear-powered fast attack and large payload submarines to hold adversaries at risk in both contested seas and open oceans. We will continue to build the Virginia class at a sustainable rate while developing the SSNX, Gilday's navigation plan states. However, a time frame is not given and of course China is well known to be quickly building its own submarines with an intent to expand both regional and global strength. Therefore, it is certainly conceivable that the pure size of China's fleet may remain larger than the US Navy. However, there are many key variables to consider here, as actual numbers of submarines or fleet size does not instantly equate to undersea superiority. The plan cites what it calls an adjustment in funding for major submarine over the past few years from the then emerging Block V Virginia class attack boats. This is extremely significant for several reasons, the emerging Block V boats, underway with conceptual development and prototyping, will incorporate new attack submarine technologies designed to improve performance and expand mission scope. Congress and the Navy seem quite committed to the adjustment to build three per year starting in 2025 and 2026, as evidenced by the shipbuilding plan's addition of $1.7 billion to support shipyard facilitation. The move likely reflects ongoing assessments and industrial base studies which have for several years now found that the U.S. industrial capacity does indeed possess the ability to successfully flex to accommodate a larger buy. Virginia-class attack submarines U.S. Navy Virginia-class attack submarines, now being added to the fleet at a quick pace, incorporate a number of as of yet unprecedented technologies. Some of these submarines, particularly Block 3 and forward, operate with a new generation of quieting technologies, coating and communications equipment to ensure improved undersea connectivity and stealthy properties to help the boat elude detection. Virginia-class submarines are also increasingly capable of performing surveillance missions as well as attack, due to a large aperture both sonar system and an ability to launch surveillance drones from the missile tubes. The boats operate with fiber optic cables and a digital, automated computerized fly-by-wire navigation system so depth and speed can be set with a much smaller degree of human involvement. The Virginia-class boats are also introducing a paradigm-changing measure of firepower, as the Block V boats are being built with an 80-foot-long added midsection called Virginia payload modules able to increase the boat's Tomahawk missile firing capability from 12 up to 40. While there is likely very little known about the specific technologies woven into Chinese submarines, the PRC Navy may not be able to match the performance parameters, sensing and firepower built into the U.S. Navy Virginias. Nonetheless, the specific capabilities of China's new Type 039C attack submarine may not be fully known, 
yet multiple reports cite some advanced technology on the boat and an English publication called The Mirror said China's new attack subs were patrolling waters near Taiwan in response to the Pelosi visit. Los Angeles Class Submarines the prospect of a rapid uptick in attack submarine production has been discussed and advocated now for several years by both members of Congress and senior U.S. Navy leaders who have for quite some time voiced concerns about the size and reach of the service's submarine fleet in coming years. Los Angeles-class submarines have functioned well for decades, but more of them are retiring due to their age. As this trend accelerates, there is a pressing need for larger numbers of submarines to replace them and also advance the technical curve by engineering a new generation of attack submarine capability. Analysis is ongoing to reach the goal of more consistently procuring three SSNs per year, the plan writes. In total, the shipbuilding plan states that the Navy hopes to operate as many as 72 attack submarines, up from 54, by 2045. 